kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Candy's magic wand. One day, Cookie and Pudding made a terrible <laughs> mess in the bedroom. <laughs> Look at this room. You need to pick up my dolls and all this other stuff, too. Candy, you're not the boss of us. We're not gonna do it. Tell her, Pudding. Uh, right. Fine, then. I'll just use my magic wand here to turn you into frogs. Hey, is that really a magic wand? Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Prove that it's a magic wand by using it to clean up this mess. All right. Close your eyes and I'll clean it with the wand. Wand, make this room nice and clean. Cheeky Candy played a trick on the boys to pretend the wand was really magic. The spell is all done. You can look now. Oh, no way, all right. We have an honest-to-goodness magic wand. Now we can wish for anything. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey! You don't have a magic wand, but I do, and if you don't come out and push me on the swing, then I'll turn you both into frogs! <gasps> so Cookie and Pudding push Candy on the swing. Well, great. From now on, we're gonna have to do whatever she tells us, because if she ever gets really mad... I want a cup of tea! <laughs> I don't want to be a frog. I don't either. We've got to get the wand away from her somehow. Hey, give me back my wand or I'll turn you into frogs. I'll turn you into something. Turn Candy into a frog right now. Frog, frog. It's not working! Ah, maybe we have to close our eyes. Like back in our room. Ah, all right. <laughs> we are about to get turned into frogs for sure. We've got to run and tell Mommy. Hey, wait! Come back! Cookie? How could our very own sister turn you into a frog? Oh! Mommy! Stop, Pudding! <laughs> Mommy! Candy turned Cookie into a frog with her wand. Just look! <laughs> oh. Look what you've done to our brother. But it can't be. Cookie, I'm so sorry. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, so that's where my sailor hat went. I thought I lost it in a bush. Cookie! Cookie. Hmm. So that's where my second knitting needle went. I was just wondering where I had put it. You mean that's just one of Mommy's knitting needles and not a magic wand at all? Well, yeah. I was just trying to scare you guys because you wouldn't clean up our room like I asked. You weren't asking us, you were ordering us. Wait a second. Listen, Candy, if you want your brothers to do something, my darling, there's a real magic word that you need to be using. That word is please. Is it really magic? Uh, Pudding, hand me that frog, please, dear brother. <laughs> Here, dear sister. Thanks, and Cookie, would you open the door, pretty please? Ha, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Doing something for somebody else feels nice when they use that word. Maybe that word really is magical. Goodness, yes. And more useful than any magic wand. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, could you give me a push, if you please? Of course, Pudding. <laughs> Woohoo! Cookie and Pudding, could you guys swing my jump rope? Please, please, please? Of, of course, course we, we will. will. <laughs> magic wands only exist in fairy tales, but the kitty cats learn that the magic word please is really magical. <laughs> Dreams on demand. One morning, the kitty cats were telling each other what they dreamt. I dreamed that I was sailing a boat on a little stream. I dreamed I was trying on a pretty new dress. I dreamt I was eating a candy bigger than my head. I wonder, if you think up a dream for yourself, will you dream it then? 
I'm not sure. But why don't we try it, guys? If we can make it work, then we can dream what we want every night. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, I want to dream that I'm out on the ocean in a huge giant boat. I want to dream I'm a princess in a castle. My dream's about different kinds of butterflies. That night, they put their drawings under their pillows. Story time! Tonight I'll read Puss in Boots, the classic story about a famous cat. So it's morning, right? Pretty, Pretty sure, sure, yeah. yeah. It didn't work at all. I dreamed I caught boots or something while I was trying to fish. Uh, huh? Huh? Uh, uh. It didn't work for me at all either. Well, I mean, I was a princess, but I lived in a big boot in my dream. It's because of the book Daddy read us last night. Puss in Boots. Were there boots in your dreams too? There were. I dreamt I was wearing these freaky boots full of sweets. I wonder why there's food in all of your dreams, Pudding. I'm not sure. Well, maybe it's because I always think about food a lot when I'm drifting off. Pudding, you're a genius. We should be focusing on the dreams we want all day. So the kitty cats spent the whole day thinking hard about what they wanted to see in their dreams. I'm a princess. I'm a princess. Really big, fast ship. Really big and fast ship. Some butterflies. Butterflies. Lots of butterflies. And when it came time for Daddy's bedtime story... Story time! Little Red Riding Hood! Oh, thanks, uh, yeah, good night. Uh, uh. I'm a princess. Butterflies. Giant ship. I'm a princess. Butterflies. Giant ship. Thanks a lot. You made me dream all night about butterflies. Well, I dreamt all night that I was some kind of princess. And I dreamed that I was in a giant ship with butterfly wings on it. Our dreams got all jumbled up because we overheard each other. I have a really good idea. We should try not talking today so we won't mix up each other's dreams. The kittens worked so hard concentrating on their dreams that they wore themselves out. So when they slept, they were too tired to dream at all. All we did yesterday was think really hard about what we wanted our dreams to be. And then we had no dreams at all. I don't understand why we can't see dreams on demand. Ha! Huh, maybe it's because it just isn't possible. Our dreams are a mysterious, wonderful surprise. That's what makes them so great. And for dreams to be really rich and interesting, we must do as many fun, interesting things as we can every day to collect experiences. Hey, hey that's, that's right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens found lots of interesting and useful things to do all day. And after collecting all these experiences, quickly fell asleep. And all three of them were surprised with dreams about new, unique, and fascinating things. The Feathery Thief. One day, the kitty cats were playing in their room as usual when they started to notice something odd. Huh? Pudding, have you seen my shiny new whistle? Did you take it? I don't have it. Candy, my brand new whistle is gone. Just wait. First I have to look for my nice new hairpin. Nope. You didn't take it, right? My magnifying glass is gone. Candy, did you pick it up? Why would I want your magnifying glass? 
but my hairpin must have been taken by one of you. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Well, I haven't seen your hairpin or magnifying glass, but I want my whistle. But who took my hairpin? Give me back my magnifying glass. Come on. All right. What is all this fighting? Now, which of you kitty cats can tell me where my other earring's gone? We, we didn't, didn't take it. it. That means there's a thief in our house. <laughs> if there really was a robber in the house, I'd have probably spotted him. Huh? What's going on? My jelly spoon was just right here. Where is it? <gasps> I got it. There's a thief in the house. We have to figure out just what the thief wants. But first, we have to figure out why he took the items he did. A spoon, an earring, magnifying glass, hairpin, and whistle. <laughs> Well, he took a jelly spoon, so he must really like jelly. <laughs> of course, everyone likes jelly, so that's no help at all. They took one of my earrings. And my other hairpin. Which could mean that our thief is a girl, right? And maybe they took my magnifying glass because they can't see well. And she likes sports because she also took my referee whistle. All right, so Grandma is our robber? <laughs> of course. Well, Grandma is a very clever lady. Hang on now. We can't accuse someone without evidence. What we should do is leave some bait for the thief, you know? What do all these things have in common? For one thing, they're all shiny. Daddy's car key is shiny, so they used it as bait. Everyone held their breath and waited to see who the thief was. Looks like the robber's a magpie, guys. Oh, don't let that bird fly away with my car keys. <laughs> Great, how am I ever going to get to work now? Hang on, dear. Don't panic. I have an idea where all our missing things are. Look at that. It's like a treasure chest in there. Seems like we weren't the only victims of this particular thief. The kitty cats called their neighbors, who came running when they heard the neighborhood robber had been caught. Ah. They had all lost shiny things. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Here's just our stuff left. Ready? Earring, dear. Uh -huh. Magnifying glass. Your hairpin. Ah. Whistle. Ah. My keys and spoon. Yay! So that's that. Let's head home. Oh. I feel bad for the bird. She really loves sparkly things, but she doesn't have any of them left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we find some other really sparkly, shiny thing for the birdie? Then she'd have shiny stuff that was all hers, and nobody would try to take it away ever. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So the kitty cats left a nice, shiny bottle cap for the magpie, and thanks to the feathery thief, they learn that you always need to figure out the facts of a case before you accuse someone, especially your grandma. The goldfish. The kitty cats have been asking their parents for a pet. You can open up your eyes now. Oh, wow! It's, it's a, a goldfish. goldfish! She's easy to look after. Just feed her and make sure she has clean water. I think that you'll manage. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> we need to make certain we take proper care of the fish. We need to feed her. Let's give her a lovely piece of bread. Nah, hmm? that's not really taking care of her. We need to feed her something that's really yummy. The kittens brought the goldfish a piece of Daddy's cake. Here, fishy. Hope you like it. No, oh. wait. Uh. You can't put whatever you want into the aquarium. This is her special food. Fish really don't eat much. She just needs a little pinch of fish food. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I could stand here and look at her for hours and hours and hours. It's nice out. How about taking a break from the fish and playing outside for a while? Can we take the fish out with us? Sure you can, but you need to be very careful with her. The kitty cats had called their friends over to their house to see their new pet. I think that it's beautiful. She's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> Do you think that I could feed her and take her for a walk? Me too, guys. Me too. Hurrah! Boris, you've had long enough. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fish is looking a bit sad. Maybe if I read her a book about sea creatures, she'll feel better. Here's an octopus, and this is a blue whale. All you'll do by reading that is make her feel homesick, Pudding. I'll make her feel better. <laughs> happy, happy, happy fish! Ah! Huh? Maybe she's hungry? Whoa! All gone! I know what's wrong. Remember, Mommy said the fish only eat a little bit. And we gave her an entire thing of food. Oh, that poor fishy. No wonder it's not happy. Imagine if someone threw that much food into your room, kittens. <laughs> oh, and this water needs changing. Water to a fish is the same thing as air is to us. Just imagine if all the air where you're living got filthy all of a sudden. <laughs> The air here smells just horrible. You're right. It really isn't fresh at all. I don't think the three of you are ready to take care of a pet yet. So I guess I'd better take the goldfish back to the store. No, Mommy, wait. Please give us another chance. I promise that we'll take care of the fish properly. We'll just give her a pinch of food, not too much. And change the water every day, promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it seems your fish is feeling much better. And this rainbow arch is for her bowl to keep her nice and happy all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's how the goldfish became part of the family, and how the kitty cats learned to take care of her properly. The Quiet Game. One day, Mommy sat down to work on her new kids' fashion designs. Mommy! We want to build a pirate ship out in the yard. To play sea adventures and stuff. That's a great idea. Uh, show it to me when you're finished building it. But we need some things like boxes, tape, and rope, and uh, lots of stuff we haven't thought of. Oh. Mommy helped the kitty cats find what they needed and helped them carry it to the garden. But she could still hear the kittens outside. We'll build it here. No, over there. And she couldn't concentrate. This pirate ship was my idea. But I drew what it'll look like. And I thought up how to build it, you know. Yeah, and? Kittens. Why don't the three of you play... The quiet game. The, the quiet, quiet game? Yes. The kitten who can stay silent the longest is the winner. And I'll make the winner their very own flag to put on the ship. Oh, that's great. Just be sure to put a star on my flag after I win. I want a flower on mine. A mushroom for me. Okay, now shh. The quiet game has now started. <laughs> So after that, the first kitten to say anything would lose the game. 
The kitty cats kept working on their shipbuilding. But it turned out to be much harder without words. Pudding suggested to Cookie that they build the mast out of old skis. But Cookie thought that Pudding wanted to go skiing. And it was summertime. Cookie tried to show Pudding that it was summer. You can't ski on the grass. But then Pudding thought Cookie wanted to ski. Cookie and Pudding tried to understand what candy meant. Was she saying they could ski on the sheet instead of snow? Or did she want to play ghosts? Or maybe she wanted to make a big painting. At last it was clear. Candy was saying that the sheet would make a great sail. Only the kittens would need to ask Mommy's permission. Uh -uh. But none of them wanted to talk and lose the quiet game. The wind almost carried the sheet into a puddle. They all knew what they should do was call Mommy. Who would be the first to talk and lose the game? <sighs> At last, my work's all finished. Mommy! Help! <laughs> oh, Mommy! <laughs> the laundry was saved. Mommy! But it looked like all three kittens had lost the game. Okay, it's time to decide what's going to be on your flag. A flower, mushroom, or star? But didn't we all lose the game? We all broke the quiet game rules when we called you. Which means all three of us lost the game. But you all did the right thing. You went ahead and built your boat quietly. And you only talked to stop an accident from happening. So I consider all three of you winners. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The quiet game turned out to be a lot of fun for the kitty cats. And not only did Mommy make them a very special flag, but she let them use the sheet as a sail for their boat, too. Bo's Marvelous Play. One day, Bo invited the kittens and Mustard to his house to watch a play he had written. I present a great spectacle, Beauty and the Marvelous Violin. Will this be a real play, like with actors and props? And scenery and everything? And music, too? It's got all those things and music, too. And guess what? I'm going to do everything, and it will be really great. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <sighs> I really hope it will be super fun because I so get super sleepy after lunch. <sighs> I'm the prince of this faraway country and I have a marvelous violin whose music always makes people happy. Now where's that cardboard sword I made? Oops. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that violin doesn't make me happy! I am the Wicked Underground King and I hate that music so much! Oh no! Underground King wants to destroy my marvelous violin! I shall hide in the woods! <laughs> oh, sorry, it's tricky handling all this stuff on my own. I could help you with all the scenery and props if you want. It'd be much easier if I did. Mm-hmm. This sure is a scary forest. My whole tail is covered in goosebumps. Oh, huh? it isn't time for this music to be played yet. This huh. scene is supposed to feel scary. That fun mm -hmm. music didn't feel scary. Well, I could be in charge of turning the music on and off if it would help. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The 
lovely damsel has been asleep for a hundred years. Ooh. But I will wake her up with my marvelous violin. Again. I'll chop the violin in two. It will be silenced forever. No, Evil King, I will stop you. Prince, Evil King, don't argue. <laughs> You'll never beat me. We'll soon see. Uh, let's just all be friends, guys. Only if he promises not to touch my violin. No way, I hate music. Just wait for a second. I'm really confused right now. Uh, Who's the bad guy? Uh, Who's the good guy? Oh, boy. I wanted the play to be brilliant, and instead it's a disaster. I'm a terrible actor. You're a great actor, but you're playing too many parts at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I wish there were more of me. Then I could do everything myself. No, no, no. I know what we need to do. Cookie, would you play the role of the evil underground king? Oh, yes! I've always wanted a chance to try acting. Sleepy Mustard, huh? would you play the part of the Sleeping Beauty? A beauty? Yes, I can do that. <sighs> as well as sleeping, for sure. Phew. his company of kittens put on a marvelous show because everything is better when you do it with friends. Hide and seek, kitties. One day, the kittens decided to have a game of hide and seek. We can hide anywhere in the house except for the basement, all right? Deal, let's do it. Who's the first seeker? Well, I don't want to be it. Me either. Uh, whew. That was a hard day. <sighs> hey, play hide-and-seek with us, Daddy. Do play with us, Daddy. Pretty please with hugs, Daddy. Uh, but... Oh, sure, I'll play. So awesome! Me-wow, 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 me-wow! One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then. Ready or not, here Daddy comes, kittens. Who do we have under here? <laughs> <laughs> I found candy. <laughs> And this is pudding. <laughs> Looky, it's Cookie. Yay! Let's play again. Oh. <laughs> Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Grandma, hello there. Oh, my daddy's too tired to be it again. Can we swap for a little while? How about you three seek, and I'll hide. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here we come. Let's go and look behind the couch. I bet he's hiding there. Nope. Maybe he's hiding in the wardrobe. <laughs> he's not here either. She's right, he's not here. The kittens looked in every room, but they couldn't find Daddy. Well, maybe Daddy got hungry and then hid in the refrigerator. 
<laughs> but Daddy would freeze if he were in a fridge oh. for so long. Oh. Maybe he's in the washing machine. <gasps> Mommy's about to do laundry. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, don't turn it on. <laughs> Daddy might be hiding in there. There's no need to worry, kittens. I assure you it was completely empty when I put the laundry into it. Now what? Daddy wasn't in there either. We were playing hide and seek, but we can't find Daddy at all. Hmm. Well, maybe he's in the basement. We agreed before we started we wouldn't hide in the basement. But we forgot to tell Daddy that rule when he joined in. <laughs> Huh? Oh, sorry. Guess I was having a little snooze. Poor dear. You must be exhausted after your long work day. Oh, the three of us never really thought about that. That's right. We bugged him to play with us the moment he got home. I have a really good idea. We need to let Daddy rest for a little while and only ask him to play after that. Daddy, why don't you lay on the couch and rest for a while? <laughs> I've already had a nice snooze, and now I'm ready to play hide and seek. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy's gonna be it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here comes Mommy! The kittens had the most fun hiding and seeking when everyone in the family was rested and in the mood to play. The Sock Puppet Saga. One day, Mommy brought up a big box from the basement. I win! Kittens! <laughs> hmm? Take a look. This box is full of your old toys. Hooray! I can't wait to play with all of them! <laughs> First, you have to look through all of these and then decide which toys you want to keep and which toys to give away. Once you're done with that, you can play with them. So me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! It's Cheeky, my old sock puppet! Hello! Mommy told us many stories about Cheeky, how Cheeky would eat all the sweets. <laughs> and he sneaks and tugs on kittens' tails in the night. Cookie! We're trying to sort through toys here. Your stories really aren't helping. Hey, I'm helping out. Like, for example, I've decided Cheeky stays. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. Cookie, that hurt. Stop. I'm not Cookie. I'm Cheeky. No, you're not. You're just my brother with a puppet. Oh, hey, Cookie, stop that. I'm Cheeky. Try and catch me if you can. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to catch Cheeky if we want to get our work done. <laughs> Sheriff Sweetie is ready to track Cheeky down. Detective Bowtie always gets his puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Bowtie and Sheriff Sweetie set out to find Cheeky. Always, and the detective and the sheriff were both chasing him. They were chasing very fast, so they didn't see the bull. Huh. Are you telling me that socks with buttons for eyes are to blame? Yeah! Uh. I didn't have any idea that sock puppets could do such things. Does that sound right to you, Kitten Mitten, my kitchen mitt puppet? Oh. <gasps> oh. 
<gasps> it wasn't me. It was just Kitten Mitten doing it. La, 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 la. Um, sorry, Mommy. It was us who broke the bowl and made this mess. I guess it's probably better if we put Cheeky and the detectives away. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We should clean up the mess and stop blaming the sock puppets for what we did. When we're done cleaning, we can put on a puppet play. Now that is a wonderful idea, Candy. Kittens, it is really important that you take responsibility for what you do. And don't dump the blame onto someone else, especially an old sock. <laughs> The kittens finished cleaning up and found another use for their puppets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think this wonderful show could use another character or two. Don't you, Kitten Mitten? My goodness, but you're a handsome cat. And Sir uh, Goofy McBoot. <laughs> so awesome! <laughs> me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their parents had a lot of fun performing their puppet play. Winter fun with Daddy. One winter's day, Daddy decided to bring the kitty cats to a park for some fun sledding on the snowy slopes. We'll have a great time mm. playing in the snow with Daddy. <laughs> wow, this is great. We can do whatever we want. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Kittens, two things. Listen when I tell you something, and we have to be home by lunchtime. Wow. There were so many slopes, they didn't know which one to choose. I want to ride huh? down this one. I want to go on uh, that one. Oh. No, that one over there. Uh, well, now, kittens, we can only stay for a few hours. Come on, we have to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, time flies when you're having fun. Uh. Kittens, no taking naps in the snow. <laughs> okay, well, it's time we headed home. Aww. But we haven't even had a chance to slide down the biggest slope. <laughs> well, I suppose we can do one more run. To get to the top of the highest slope, Daddy and the kittens needed to ride a special lift. Okay, keep your scarf on. It, it's windy up here. But, Dad, I'm really hot. And plus, there's no wind here at all. Whoa! Aww. That wouldn't happen if you'd listen to me. Now we have to go rescue your scarf. <laughs> well, hurry up. Hey, I wonder, if I fall into a snow pile down there, will I turn into a big snowball? <laughs> Oh, ha! It would be really fun. Oh, I wonder how far down you can ride this slope. Oh yeah! Remember, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> 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 that was awesome! And now we must rescue Cookie Scarf from the tree. Uh, now don't shake the tree or you'll get covered with snow! <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that would happen. <laughs> uh, now we need to head home, yes? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? The kittens wanted to go for one more ride. The three of you promise we'll leave right after this? Sure, Daddy! But then the snow started falling. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one of these snow piles is our car. We really need to get out of here. <laughs> is green. It's not ours. This one's blue. Not ours. It's red. Hey, everyone, I think I found our car. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for digging my car out of that mountain of snow. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so tired and cold and I'm really hungry. <laughs> 
Me too, Pudding. None of this would have happened if we listened to Daddy in the first place. <laughs> it's great that you understand that, kittens. But right now we need to solve the witch's our car mystery. I have a really good idea. Daddy should click the beeper on his key. <laughs> I guess I should have thought of that in the first place. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> well, let's dig our car out of the snow and head home. Mommy's expecting us. By listening to Daddy and working together, the kittens made it back for lunch with Mommy, happy and excited to be home after a morning on the slopes. A night in a forest. One day, Mommy and Daddy woke the kittens up very early in the morning. Time to rise and shine, kittens. Today we're driving to a big nature reserve where we're camping out tonight. Camping? For real? Are we sleeping in a tent? Will we cook on a campfire? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The nature reserve had special spots for camping. Well, no free spots here. Let's drive a bit further. Oh, looks like this one's full as well. After driving around the nature reserve for an hour, Daddy still couldn't find a free camping spot. Are we ever gonna get there? I'm so tired. Me too, and I'm very hungry. And Aww. I'm thirsty. Try to be patient, kittens. We'll drive a bit further into the reserve and find a perfectly lovely campsite. The trees are whizzing by really fast. Uh. Uh, well, the trees have stopped whizzing. We'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives. Uh. Now, don't give up, kittens. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I'll go and gather some firewood while you help your father with putting the tent up. I think I forgot to pack the pegs for the tent. We need them to hold the tent in place. If the tent won't work, will we have to just sleep out on the cold, hard ground? What if it rains? Oh, then we can all sleep in the car. Uh. There's lots of mosquitoes around, too. <laughs> nope, I do not want to spend the night in these woods. Neither do I. Daddy, please get Mom. We want to go home. Yeah, home isn't full of big mosquitoes. Or other scary forest beasts. Ah, relax, kittens. We're in a special nature reserve. No scary creatures live in this forest. Uh. Uh. A scary forest creature! Uh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> kittens, your scary forest creature is Mommy. <laughs> Goodness, Daddy's so very funny. I have been gathering dry twigs for our campfire. They weren't easy to find, but I kept on till I found them. Mommy just delivered a solution to our little tent problem. I've got a really good idea. We should all help fix the tent together and we'll have a super night sleeping in the woods. Soon, the kittens forgot all about their fears and started to have a lovely time in the outdoors. Um. Kittens, it's time for bed. Good night, Good night Mommy. Good night, Good night kittens. kittens. Move over a bit. Ah, uh, there are mosquitoes in here. And they are hungry for us creatures. They're pretty big, too. Good thing I brought the anti-scary forest creature spray. <laughs> ah, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! 
Once the kittens settled down and dug in to help out, they had a wonderful time camping. Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. Honey. Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores uh, I asked you to do? A uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rugs oh. for us. And do many other things. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I think I'll do, kittens? <laughs> Look at the carefree cat. So, so awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Daddy ordered the carefree cat system, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree cat is ready for use. <laughs> so, carefree cat. Turn on your cleaning mode. Yes! That's so awesome! What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight and unlock the doors to let them in. Identity confirmed. Now, Carefree Cat, turn on your laundry setting. Daddy and the kittens like the carefree cat very much. Ah. Ah. But then something went wrong. <laughs> oh, it washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together. Let me in. Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie. Pudding too. Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet. <laughs> <laughs> This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us, too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> well, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy. The Good Deeds Agency. One day, Daddy was taking out the trash, and the kittens decided to help him. <laughs> Thank 
you, kittens. What lovely, helpful children helping your daddy out. Know what? It feels great when somebody thanks you. It sure does. Should we try helping someone else out? We should start our own good deeds agency. We could help everyone. They'd all love that. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens turned their treehouse into the good deeds agency. All they needed next were people to help. Looks like there just aren't any cats that need our help. It's just that no one knows what we're here to do. We should just walk around and help everyone. That'll get our agency's name out there. The Good Deeds Agency is here to help you. Oh, no. Looks like Mommy isn't here for us to help. That's all right. We'll just put all these buttons into jars and leave a We Helped You card. She'll see what we did and the card, and she'll thank us later. It'll be great. <laughs> to go get some new dandelions. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. We're really good at helping people. Our good deeds agency is just the best. Here come the cats that we helped. Prepare to get thanked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What's wrong? Dear kittens, I understand that you were only trying to be helpful, but unfortunately you seem to have created some problems. What? You've sorted my buttons by color, but I needed them sorted by shape. The shapes of the buttons were the important thing for me. We wanted to plant new flowers today, but then you flooded our garden beds. All of the soil turned into a mushy swamp. Oh, you kids did not realize my artistic vision, and you mixed up all my paints. Yellow is green, and blue is now purple. Oh. oh, no. We tried to make a good deeds agency, but made a bad one instead. <laughs> Don't feel bad, my darling kittens. Trying to help your neighbors is a wonderful idea. Just make sure you give it some thought. I have a really good idea. We can correct all of the agency's mistakes by first asking what we can help them with. And exactly how. Soon the kittens fixed all the mistakes they made and helped everyone so well that word about their good deeds agency got around to all their neighbors. Kittens, some of our neighbors could really use the good deeds agency's help. <laughs> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The good deed agency turned out to be a great idea. It's so nice to make friends and neighbors happy by helping them. The Talking Birdie. One day, Daddy was busy as usual dreaming up recipes. And so the next step is to take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and then top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. That sounds very yummy. Better write it down, my dear. Daddy, Daddy did, did you, you call us? us? Pudding, little candy, and cookie. Dad, did you just say I was raspberry flavored? Your sweet daddy has just thought up a yummy new dessert recipe. Right. Kitties, before I forget, guess what? The neighbors have gone away for a little trip and have asked us to look after their parrot. There's going to be a real live parrot here? Hooray! Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Birdie, birdie, birdie! You know, I read somewhere that parrots can talk. 
The birdie can talk? That's awesome! Well, go on, birdie, say something. Don't be shy, say something, say something! Maybe she doesn't want to talk stuck in a cage like that. Well, let's let her out then. Okay, we're listening. Maybe she's a little hungry. Well, what do you say? Say thank you. What you should say is thank you. Maybe the birdie likes candy? Want some candy, girl? Not yet. You can have it if you say please. Maybe she's just too little and hasn't learned how to say anything yet. We should try to teach her. The huh? kitty cats tried to think of just the right word to teach the parrot. Hmm. I think we should teach her how to say boo. Oh. Then when the neighbors get back, she could really scare them. <laughs> but how could we be certain she'd only scare them? What if she started scaring everybody? Boo! Yeah! <laughs> Well, maybe we should teach her to say, uh, something like congratulations. Because that's a word everybody likes hearing. But pudding, congratulations is what you say when something good happens, not just whenever. <gasps> congratulations! Oh. Oh. Congratulations! We should teach him a word that's normal and simple. Something like, hi there. You're right. The bird won't scare anybody if he says that. Hi there. 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 Oh. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Uh, what? Kittens, could you please go play somewhere else? I just wrote the last step of my new recipe as hi there. Now, what was supposed to happen after you take the hot cookie out of the oven? Take the freshly baked cookie out of the oven and top it with a cream candy. And as that melts, serve it with raspberry pudding. <sighs> <sighs> The clever parrot had remembered Dad's recipe perfectly. Thank you. That's it exactly. Well, I guess you do know how to talk after all. Thank you. Candy, please. Congratulations. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> how come you didn't say anything before when we asked you to talk? Well, my darlings, maybe you were talking too much yourselves. And she didn't have the chance to get a single word in. Ah. We're very sorry, Birdie. We should give you time to answer. Birdie? Hi there. Good afternoon. Oh, oh awesome. Meow, 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 meow. Thank you, Cookie. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Pudding. You're, You're very, very welcome. welcome. That night, they all tried Daddy's new cookie recipe, and their new parrot friend talked so much, it was hard to believe it had ever been quiet at all. The phone. <laughs> One fun fall day, the kitty cats were playing with their friends on the playground. <laughs> then along came Chase. Look what my father just gave to me. A, a cell, cell phone. phone. <laughs> <sighs> it's got a music app with tons of songs. It takes photos. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> but most importantly, check this out. Super cool. Perfect, yeah. Awesome! Can I have a turn playing too? And me! Can I also have a turn? But first, me! Come on, come on, go! The kitty cats played with Chase's new phone for hours. So I'm gonna ask Chase if I can borrow his phone after lunch so I can take a picture of a slug that I found. And then I want to use it to listen to my very favorite song. I'll finish my cyber soccer tournament too. Wait a sec. Oh.
Hey, we should ask Mommy and Daddy to buy us each a telephone. That way we won't need to ask for Chase's phone all the time. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Well, a phone is very useful when you need to call someone and talk to them about something. But using it all the time is not good. Imagine what would happen if everyone spent all their time talking on the phone instead of to each other in person. Meow there, Cupcake. How have you been? Long time no see. Candy, it has been a while. We should really meet up sometime. Or if instead of listening to real live music, only listened on their phones. Huh? <sighs> or imagine if everyone only played phone soccer instead of the real thing. And the ball hasn't moved once in 44 minutes! Ball! Yuck! That wouldn't be anything like soccer. We we'll live in the real world instead of on the phone. Thank, Thank you, Mommy. Mommy. Super yummy, Mommy. My pleasure, kids. Time to play! Boris, Dart, and Smudge were still glued to Chase's new phone. They couldn't put it down. Goal! Ten to zero! So awesome. I have a really good idea. We have to get them to play with us instead of the telephone. Another goal! Awesome! What? Smudge, let's play some soccer while you're waiting for your phone turn. Yeah, all right. Dart and Boris are ahead of me in line to use the phone anyhow. <laughs> Goal. Goodness, this is fun. Huh? <laughs> Boris, I'm going to play while you're busy with the phone. <laughs> 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 Goal! Well, it looks like I won, just like last time. All right, then. Who wants to play next? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, Goal! Uh. Hey, wow! A real live soccer game. Hey, everybody, can I play? Yeah, Chase. We could use a good striker. Catch it! Hooray! This is even better than on the phone. <laughs> Meow? Mommy? Yeah, I'm here at the park. All of us are going to play a game of real life soccer now. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Phones are great for calling someone when you need to talk to them. Goal! But playing is always more fun in the real world with friends.